You talked to him, but he ran off. He's gone crazy. You know, his wife died in a fire, and he was never the same after that. Just stopped showing up. Felt bad for him, but what could I do? Trey, call off your dog. Now, look, I'm awful sorry about what happened to your brother. Jeb McCready was a good man and a fine deputy. But right now, I need you to go home, all of you. You're going to want to be spending time with your families right now, not locked up behind bars for disorderly conduct. Is that what you want to tell these girls' parents, Andy? We quit because of a bureaucratic squabble? I can't let that happen. No. We're not letting this one go. Andy! You need to come on down now! Look who's on top of the world now, huh? Andy! Get the hell off the top of the world! Now! Aunt Gabby? Well, now I know why you're always already sitting where you need to be. You're gonna have to let Ralph and me know if you want us to put an engine on this thing so you can cruise in style. Okay, everyone, now you know. Is your girlfriend capable of killing a deputy sheriff and a six foot, 240 pound bartender? No, that's ridiculous. It's always light as a feather. Besides, she wouldn't harm a fly. In that case, she's gonna have to take a backseat to the situation here. Look, stop by the station first thing in the morning. I'll see what I can do. 